So I guess I'm trying to capture this while it's on my mind, just a thought, but it takes a while to build something that lasts a while, right? Well, in theory. So um, what I'm attempting to do is build systems that will not only help awaken us, but help keep us from falling asleep for, let's just say, a thousand years. Let's just use that term. And uh, so just not something that, again, helps a couple people, but helps a lot of people for a long time and helps us not to backslide so that the information that we learn, we lock it in so that you can't fool us again. You can't fool us the way we've been fooled now. And believe it or not, I feel there's a part of me that's come to check on the work that I'm doing here a thousand years in the future. We talked about that. That's the whole Finding Carlo story. And if you think that's far-fetched, just look at the time capsules, because imagine creating a time capsule, but it's not just something that's buried. It's something that's out and, and, and dynamic that's in the world. But imagine building a time capsule thousands of years in the past to remind us of our ability back then. And examples of that are the pyramids, right? Just look at the multi-dimensional things that are built in that mathematically, alignment, um, the all, all of that stuff. You can look at the pyramids. So that's an example, right, of something that would help trigger memories in us that existed in us prior. So imagine reigniting that and codifying it in a way with technology. It's part of why I posted these, these things on these social media sites, because most of you guys aren't paying attention, but there will be a time where this will be consolidated. And the technology is catching up that allows that to happen because I do have a lot of data that's online and probably more that's offline. But that's the intent is to create a system that will last at least a thousand years. So in again, to put a gate in that doesn't allow humanity to backslide to the degree that we've backslid now and we'll continue our evolution and move, move forward and piggybacking off of what happened in, in Egypt and civilizations prior to that supposedly. So we've been devolving spiritually while we've been, our technology has been increasing. So now we have to find a balance with that. We're not gonna stop creating technology. We're not gonna stop doing things like that. But what is our level of consciousness as we're doing it? Technology is like a gun or a knife. It itself is inert. But the person wielding it, the person programming it, what is their level of consciousness? What is it programmed to do? What are you going to do with the knife? You can use it to cut somebody or kill, or you can use it to heal somebody and do surgery. So that's what we're creating. Just wanted to kind of capture that thought.